in the combustion chamber enter a small amount of coolant all right it's not good of course it's not good it's dramatic but uh, the engine continue running and what happened outside yes you have white smoke if coolant is entering in the combustion chamber what is what is the reason for what reason normally it's because uh, the engine was overheated and the head gasket was blown and the coolant passed into the combustion chamber in the moment of the explosion the coolant is evaporated and goes outside like vapor white smoke how the coolant enter okay because of the head gasket or because uh, the head is cracked yeah this is normally the reason or because on the cylinder the liner of the cylinder is cracked in some parts and the coolant penetrate the cylinder and enter in the combustion chamber the procedure is like this the first step is uh, we are going to remove the valve cover we are going to remove the valve cover immediately we remove the valve cover remove the rocker arm strain we are going to, to remove the rocker arms slowly we are going to lose normally is uh, four or 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 six uh, bolts in order to keep the train of rocker arms against the valves all right we are going to remove uh, the rocker arm strain and right now without the rocker arms the head is free and we are ready ready to remove the head bolts what is the lapping procedure the lapping procedure consists in a seat the valve appropriated against the seat of, uh, of the valves and produce a good seal. How can you do that? In order to do the lapping procedure, I recommend prepare a drill with a hose and an adapter in order to move the valve at high speed against the face of the head. Applying in the, in the base of the valve lapping compound the lapping compound is a sandpaper in cream you apply the lapping compound in the base in the face of the valve and with the drill uh, you pass against and against and again for four minutes five minutes and you clean periodically the valve in order to verify the condition in order to verify if the seat of the valve is properly seated and if the face of the valve is clean appropriate you do that process, you do that process with each path. And at the end, we, we put the, 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 the head with the face of the head up, facing up, and we apply gasoline in each cylinder in order to verify if the gasoline penetrate uh, the valve and pass through the intake port or through the exhaust port. Uh, this is the process to verify if uh, the, 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 the job on the head is appropriate. In marine applications, never try to repair a head, especially in diesel engines. In marine applications, I don't recommend repair a head. It's, most, it's more expensive to repair the head uh, because probably in six months you have the same problem again, right? Always, always replace the head for a new one. If you found it a crack, replace the head for a new one. There are techniques uh, uh, used uh, to, to, to repair the head. We are going uh, to, to talk later about those procedures. The Magnaflux consists of a one electromagnet, like the electromagnet that you have on the screen right now. This electromagnet and uh, normally uh, should be connected uh, to a source of power uh, uh, AC, not DC. The coil should be powered with an AC source of power. Be careful, never connect uh, with DC. And uh, immediately you connect the source of power uh, to the electromagnet, the electromagnet become a magnet. Uh, one, one end uh, be, uh, become positive and the other end become negative.